Okay, everybody. Um, I've done some more work. And starting with this, this is one part that I did. Besides putting the drill hole in the bottom of the potter thing, I took this piece of wood and I made three holes. And I did these smaller so that instead of using this PVC, I used a smaller PVC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these through this board like that. In all, all three of them. In that little area where you see me drill that, this piece of wood was the border, boundary. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it back, and what's going to happen is water will fill up on one side and it will go into these pipes. And when it goes into these pipes, it will go from here over into this area, which will have the dirt. And it will fill up with the dirt. As well as that, it will come back out and it will keep, this area will regulate how much water is in it. If it gets too high, it will drain back out into that pool through the drain that I drilled in the bottom. First, I'm going to take and I'm going to put plastic on the tub and then I'll place this over the top of it and then I'm going to have to take it and put the pipe through there and have or through the plastic and have a fitting that will secure be secure on top of it and one underneath it so that it doesn't have any water leaking out of it and then the plastic will still be able to hold all the water in um, I'm going to start doing that now and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I've got it done like I said, it's really time consuming, and I'm sure you guys don't want to sit and watch me do all the hard work. It's going to take a lot of time, and I don't really like speeding up videos. I think that's cheesy. So I will get back to you here in a little bit. Now I started my plastic putting it down, and I had to use two trash bags on the side so that because the big good piece of plastic that I have wasn't long enough for the edges so I compensated by cutting trash bags in half and duct taping them to the sides now I'm going to put the thick trash or the thick plastic over the top of it in the middle and tape that together too and see what we come up with but I'm going to show it to you and let you guys see it And like I said, <clears throat> this is going to be the sides. The big plastic is going to go right down the middle where you don't see plastic. And I'm going to connect these with that one piece. And I will get back to you and show you that here shortly. Okay, so after all of the taping and stuff, I finally got it done. I ran out of duct tape for the moment, but I went ahead and used scotch tape to keep it in place until I can get more duct tape. Just so I can make a video and show what it looks like after it's all done. This is what it'll come out to. The hole is right here, and what we're going to do is I'm going to place this like so I believe I had it the other way around put it all in place that way you guys can at least look at it and see it see what we're working on here and 
tub will be sitting right here. And right through here is where the pipe will come down from here. And then it'll come out and it'll drip out here. Then we'll have water that'll come from here up and into this area. Fill this area up. Then we'll go through these holes and on this side we're going to have soil, topsoil on the bottom. We'll have topsoil on the bottom and on top we'll have gravel, gravel and rocks. And the water will be fed through there for the for the seeds to grow and everything. So, with that said, I can also tell you that I tried to do the top elevating it up, and it's going to take a lot more work. I'm going to have to redouble my efforts. I've got the pipes to where they're all evened out, but when I put it on top, it's just completely unbalanced and they like to shift. I tried to keep them stable with the string or rope and that's not a good idea for me i think i'm probably going to have to get some of that wire and i'm going to have to connect it and make it strong and make it sturdy to where it doesn't move every time i try to put it on the plastic it's causing damage i had to literally take scotch tape and i'm hoping that works but i put it over scuffs in the plastic to keep the water in that turned out to be a pretty bad mistake. Um, I think I've shown you everything. I haven't got all of it done yet on that part. I've got to use duct tape again to duct tape the garbage bags that I cut up with the white plastic or the see-through plastic that's you know, in the center. I've already got the duct tape on the edges though to hold the garbage bags in place. And we will see where it goes from there. I wanted to get this done today because they said it was going to rain tomorrow. And hopefully it does so I can find out if this is waterproof. After it's all said and done, I need to get the plumbing put in down in the bottom part. But there's a couple of parts I have to wait for until Monday. I need to get a, a elbow and then I need to get the parts that go on the top surface and then on the bottom surface that I can tighten up for the pipe and I'm going to have to figure out what I want to use for a bell that's going to fit over the top of it. But when I get that all taken care of I will show you what I'm talking about and we'll go from there.